Hello YouTube, it's me the Spritman. Today I'm back with another video. In this video, we will be playing Try Hack Me City of named as Frank and Harvey Try Again. Let's get its IP address and do some port scanning. For now, I am using ROS scan. Let's wait until our scan is finished. As we can see, port 22 for SSS is available. Also, we can see port 30679 for HTTP is available. Let's open the port in our browser. As we can see, there is nothing useful but an idea to use GiveCTL. Now, let's check the result of ROS scan again. We can see the version of the PHP used in this web page. Let's search if this version is exploitable. As we can see this PHP version contains backdoor of command injection which can be triggered using user agent. Let's get the code for reverse self using the github file. Copy and paste the code in your machine. Make the file executable and run it using Python 3. As we can see, it asks for three arguments as a parameter. For target IP address, our attacking machine IP and port used for listening or reverse shell. Since Pondcat allows us to upload file easily, we will be using Pondcat for getting reverse shell. Once we get connection from our target machine, we can use Ctrl D to switch between local and remote session inside the Pondcat. Since kubectl is not present and we do not have crawl or wget command, we will be using upload command of Pondcat to get kubectl inside the target machine. For that, first we have to download kubectl in our local machine. Link to download page will be in the description. Press Ctrl D to switch between local and remote session in Pondcat. Now use upload command to upload file using full path of the file. Make the kubectl file executable and run it. Now use the kubectl to get information of the available ports in that machine. As we can see only one port is available and we are inside it. Now get details of the running port in YAML format so that we can understand more easily. We can see that the port is using the docker image of PHP version 8.1 which contains backdoor. As we can see that this port does not contain any flags, so we have to try to mount this port in another port using the same docker image. For that, we have to write some YAML configuration. Pause the video and copy the code. Once the code has been copied, open the text editor in terminal of that machine. But no any text editor is available in the target machine. So we have to convert the YAML file into JSON file. Once converted, copy it and use kubectl command to override that configuration.
as you can see that new pod of name box is available and here we can search for flags since we got both flags this challenge is completed thank you guys for watching this video hope you all have learned something new from this video do not forget to like the video and subscribe my channel to see more content like this thank you all